Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So today we are going to be trying a poly gel kit from Amazon. So this kit is a Beatles poly gel kit. This was $25 on Amazon, but I did buy this a long time ago. And honestly, I don't remember it being $25, but it is now, so I guess that's all that matters. But there is supposed to be some good stuff in here. It's not just the poly gels, like it's a whole kit. And I haven't opened it. The clear plastic is still on here. So we're gonna open this together and test out this kit and see if it's really good. Also, I bought this poly gel kit with my own money, so this is not sponsored, and I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on this kit by the end of this video. Okay, so when we first open the box, we just have here the instructions. Next, we have the poly gels, but we'll get into that last. So under all the poly gels, we have some dual forms, which I will not be using today. I'm not a fan of dual forms, and honestly, I never have been. They're just too complicated for me, but they're supposed to be like for beginners, so I don't know. Next is a slip solution, and this kit comes with some nail decorations, which I love. And like, these are cute. So there's some glitters and then some gold charms. We have a poly gel brush, which I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be using. I'm gonna use my regular brush I always use. I just can't, oh, wait a minute. This one's actually kind of big. Maybe I will try it. This is my normal brush I always use, and this is the Beatles one. I mean, it's kind of long, but we'll see. I'm gonna try it, I am. Next we have a 100 and 180 grit hand file these are some white sparkle stickers these are really nice like this stuff is actually cute stuff next we have some base coat and top coat and finally the poly gels so this kit comes with six different colors and we're just gonna get swatching them so here's the first one this one is a clear poly gel next one is a light pink the next one is like a nude. It's slightly more on the orangey side though. This one is like a jelly purple color. And now for the poly gels that I'm really excited for, the glitters. I love glitter poly gels and I'm really excited for these cause in the picture they looked good. So I'm really hoping that they are good. <laughs> they are good. Look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, and that was the last color. So here are all the swatches. We have a clear, a couple nudes, and a purple. I mean, this one's kind of pinkish purple, actually. And also two glitter poly gels. The glitter ones are really nice. I have to use them. I think I want to use this one. And this color actually looks like a really nice nude for my skin tone. So I want to try and use that one as well. So this is pretty much everything that comes in the kit, including the dual forms, but we're not going to talk about them. So I came up with a set that I wanna do. So let's just get right into this nail set. Okay, so here are my natural nails. They don't really need nail prep, so I'm gonna skip it. All I'm gonna do is just take out the excess poly gel that's like around my cuticle areas. Next, I'm just going to take a fine grit sanding band and I'm going to file over the surface of the nails. Okay, now I'm gonna put on a peel off base coat and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm just going to size out the nail tips. Okay, so I sized out the nail tips and now I'm going to glue them on with some base coat. Okay, nail tips are all glued on now. Next, I'm going to trim them down and I want these to be pretty long still. I think this is good. Okay, so here's the length. Now I'm just going to shape the tips, just file in these corners and then file the tip of the nail. Okay, so I have the tips shaped a little bit and now I'm going to remove the shine from them.
Okay, so I'm done with the nail tips. Next, I'm gonna add on a layer of base coat using the base coat from the kit. Sometimes I forget to do that when I'm trying nail kits. Like I'll just use my own stuff, but I remembered this time. Okay, so let's get into this poly gel application. So we're gonna do ombres for this nail and I'm gonna use this jelly pink purple color and I'm gonna put this at all the tips of the nails. And I'm using the brush from the kit. I already don't think I like it, but you know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try with it and give it a chance. It's not too bad, but I just feel like it's too long than what it needs to be. I just don't like it. I don't know how to describe it. The length of the bristles is just like unnecessary. We're not gonna use her anymore. I'm sorry. This brush is just better. I will use the spatula from the brush though. And I'm just gonna take off the excess here. And I know I haven't said anything about the poly gel yet, but I will. Okay, so this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this poly gel while we do the next nail. So first of all, I could be mistaken on this one. I was pretty sure that this color was supposed to be like an opaque purple, but I could be getting them mixed up between this color and the nude pink color. Yeah, I kind of wish this color was a little more opaque. It's literally like the clearest pink color ever. So the consistency of this poly gel, I actually like it. It's pretty good. It looks like it shouldn't be grainy but once you work with it it becomes more and more stiff and you can kind of tell that it's a little grainy which is fine like that doesn't really matter to me but you know i'm trying to describe the consistency the best i can but yeah it does get like more stiff as you work with it so it's just kind of hard to push around it's like kind of hard to smooth out I think I might have forgotten to mention this, but this is my first time trying Beatles Poly Gel as well. Like I've never tried this brand before, but I have heard about it for a very long time. I know she's kind of popular, but I've just never tried it. But anyway, yeah, I would rather have a stiffer poly gel, more grainy rather than a runny one. So, you know, I can work with this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the tips of the nails. Okay, so I finished with the tips of the nails and now we're gonna add on the nude color. So I'm just gonna add a bead of this at the cuticle area and I'm just gonna smooth this out and I'm gonna push this towards the skin and thin out the poly gel right around the cuticle.
So once I have the poly gel like this, I'm just gonna take off a little bit of the excess that I don't want. Like I don't want the ombre to go down that far. And then I'm just going to blend this poly gel down. You know, my thoughts on the blend, it's not looking too good. <laughs> Maybe it's hard to tell on camera, but like rainy line. I mean, I'm sure once I put like the clear layer over it, I think it might look better. But right now, I just feel like it's not too good. But, you know, I'm just going to keep going. I honestly do think that the clear on top of it will, you know, make it look better. And another thing is the flooding at the cuticle area. You know, could partially be my fault with putting the poly gel a little too close, but this poly gel does run. It's one of those poly gels that it's like, if you don't really touch it, it'll run. But then once you really start to mess with it, it just stiffens up so easily. But it's okay. It's not too bad. I just got to clean around the cuticle area and then I'm going to cure this. Okay, so I'm going to finish this nail just to make sure that it's looking okay. So for the clear encapsulation, because this structure is not looking good, I'm gonna use the purple glitter poly gel and I'm just gonna put this over the entire nail. This poly gel is so nice. I love this glitter. And you know what? I think this is gonna cover up the ombre really nicely. Just from starting off working with it, it's definitely more sticky. It's on the more sticky side, but I think that's just because it's clear. And the clear poly gel in this kit is also sticky like this, so it's just sticky. It sticks to your brush easily. But you just have to add a little bit more slip solution when you're working with this poly gel. This glitter is so nice. What a great color. Like I could use this for so many designs cause you know, it's just clear with the glitter with a slight purple tint, but like, I feel like it can be so versatile and I can use this so many times. Okay, so I was totally right. The glitter fixed everything. Like, wow, it made the nails 10 times better too. So I'm really happy. And this is like the perfect base for the nail art that I wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So I'm just gonna continue on with the rest of the nails and do all the ombres. And I'm not gonna worry too much about making the ombres really perfect because the glitter covers it up really well. I'm just gonna do like a rough draft and not worry about the blend too much. So I did all the ombres. The nails look a little bit funky, but you know, like I said before, the glitter saves it all. Next, I'm just going to add glitter onto all the nails and I'm kind of trying to be a little bit quick right now because I um, have a bit of a time limit on this part. So let's try and do this part really quickly. Two nails at a time. Thank you. 
Hi guys so um it's the next day i took a break from the nails yesterday and i didn't come back to them so we're here now to finish them they're pretty much almost done all we have to do is shape them and do the nail art but like look how cute these are already do i even need to shape them would you be mad if i didn't shape them no we're gonna shape them yeah i feel like these look so good and i love this color i love the glitter i've always wanted this like pink glitter type of nail set so i really love them already but let's just get into the shaping i have my mccart dust collector and a hand file and we're gonna get reshaping these nails also i'm kind of afraid if these nails pop off because i can already see some lifting and i'm gonna be quite upset if one of them comes off i don't feel like going it back on you know so i just gotta be like really gentle you know we'll see hope for the best
Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after they have been shaped. And we're gonna get into this nail art. So for the nail art, we're gonna use some white gel polish and we are going to do some cloud nail art. I just feel like some cloud nail art over this glittery base is gonna be so cute. So you basically just wanna start with some dots, make kind of like a cloud shape with the dots. And I'm gonna see if the poly gel brush that comes with this kit is gonna be good for what I wanna do. But you basically just wanna like feather out the bottom of the cloud to make it look wispy and cloud-like. And I feel like this brush works perfect for that. So like this brush didn't completely go to waste for me. I feel like that is pretty good. This looks like a cloud, right? I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, now I'm gonna do a couple more on the nail. Okay, so I finished all the clouds. The clouds are very easy to do. I should have said this while I was doing the nail art, but to blend out the clouds, you basically just wanna like tap the edge of it and blends pretty easily. It doesn't need to be anything like too blended. So the next thing I wanna do, I don't know if I wanna add on these white sparkle stickers or if I wanna add on these gold star charms. I don't really know which one I wanna do. I feel like I might do white. I I kind of think the gold is like a little too dark. Okay, let's do the stickers. Also, stickers are really easy, so. So before I add these on, you know, the stickers have that clear outline around them. And if you put the sticker on top of this like buffed nail surface, you'll get that outline of like not shiny nail. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna add on a super thin layer of top coat first using the top coat from the kit. And this is just gonna be like a base to add on the stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I don't really know if I like it. I think I don't like this style of the sticker. Maybe if we try one of the other ones. Cause like these ones are like different. Would it look cute with a gem in the middle of it? I think that's cute. I think I like this style of the sparkle way better. So let's get putting on the rest of these stickers. So I'm just gonna add another thin layer of the top coat on the next nail. Okay, so all the sparkles are on and these nails are looking so cute already. So what I'm gonna do now is just add a little more detail and I'm gonna go around the nails and add little white dots. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take these little gems and I'm gonna put them in the middle of all the sparkles. And to adhere them, I'm just gonna put top coat over all the nails and then add in the gems like that. Hi, so I was actually supposed to put the gems on and I forgot and I cured the top coat. So we're gonna do my little trick I always do and I forget to do that. I'm just going to tap the gems in a little bit of top coat and just put them where I want them. But like I always say, don't do this if you want the gems to last cause they're gonna pop off. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't want to put the gems on the little sparkles because the gem was too big compared to them. So I only put them on the bigger sparkles. Yeah, this is pretty much all the nail art and we already have all the top coat on. So I'm going to finish these off with some cuticle oil. Here how the nails turned out let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments so i think these are so so cute i love how they turned out like this is exactly what i was imagining so let's talk about the poly gel and the poly gel kit so this beetles poly gel kit was actually pretty good in my opinion i think the colors in this kit like just goes so well together and you can create so many different designs. It came with good nail art. Like these stickers are so good, like saved me so much time. I didn't have to draw on all the sparkles. This glitter poly gel is probably my favorite. I think it's just like so versatile. I can use it on so many different sets and it's just so pretty. So the poly gel was, like I said during the application, it's kind of more on the stiffer side, the more you mess with it. But if you just let it sit there, like it will run. And all also the clearer poly gels, so like the clear one and the glitter ones were more sticky as well. So you just kind of have to know how much slip solution to use so that the poly gel will work better. So this kit was $25 and I think it did come with pretty decent stuff. I'm pretty sure Beatles sell poly gel kits but just on their own, like only the poly gel. And I think those are $20. So like for five more dollars, you get like more nail art, you get the brush, hand file and slip solution, all that stuff. So I feel like it was pretty good deal so let me know what you guys think about the pricing for like what you get but I honestly thought it was pretty good I feel like the only thing is that shaping the poly gel took a little bit of extra work because of how stiff the poly gel would become and also I feel like it was easy to flood around the cuticle area if you like didn't clean it up because I do have like a little bit of flooding it might be hard to see because of the cuticle oil yeah like I tried to clean up the cuticle and cure the nails super quickly but it would still flood a little bit. Um, not super noticeable or anything, but still, you know, flooding does cause lifting, so. Also another thing, this poly gel does not blend well at all. You saw with the ombre, like they were not looking super blended. That's just another thing, these poly gels don't really blend, but also that could have just been me, but the glitter luckily fixed it all. But overall, I'm very happy with this kit and I'm happy with how these nails turned out. And like I said, the glitter is definitely my favorite part. Also, here's the thumbnail, but I kind of forgot to put top coat on it and I didn't realize it. And I put the gems on it already. So let's ignore her, you know, she's still cute, but like there's no top coat on there. But anyway, that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.